Before I explain why I sang that song about the Holy Spirit. But first, let's come into this gate with thanksgiving. When I say thank you, open your mouth wide. Remember that when you say thank you, you are offering a sacrifice. So you judge the weight of your sacrifice by what you are offering. The fruit of your lips. The sacrifice of praise is the fruit of your lips. When we give thanks, we are laying a sacrifice on the altar. There is no altar without sacrifice. Thank Him. Oh, we thank you for life by God. Thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for day three. Thank you for day four. Thank you for day five. Thank you for day six. Thank you for day seven. Thank you for day eight. Thank you for the ninth day. You have helped us every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Everything we have, you gave us. Where we are, you brought us. What we know, you taught us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great and mighty Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the testimonies we, we hear. Thank you for the souls you save. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for what you are about to do tonight. Thank you. This is an important part of Hallelujah Challenge. Thanksgiving. We give you thanks. We are grateful. Thank you. For what the enemy meant for evil, you turned around for good. Thank you. Our defender. Our shield, our buckler. Our hiding place. Our secret place. Our glory and the lifter of our head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We honor you. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Father, we thank you. Thank you for strength. Thank you for the platform of the Hallelujah Challenge. Thank you for these gifts. Thank you because through it you have blessed the nations of the earth. You bless the body of Christ. And through it you have been glorified. We declare that everything that happens here is because of you. There is nothing that we do that produces anything. We owe it all to your grace. One more time, show up again. In mega grace. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Very quickly, let us set a context. Isaiah 32 verse 15. Let me show you why we sang that song, you know, about the Spirit of God. Because the Holy Spirit is the agent of fruitfulness. Say the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. is the agent the agent of fruitfulness. Let me show you from scripture. Let's read one to go. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And the wilderness be a fruitful field. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Give me another version. Maybe the NLT, my favorite one, or the Amplified. Let's read one to go. Until at last the spirit is poured out on us from heaven then the wilderness will become a fertile field and the fertile field will yield bountiful crops amen so you see it is drought until the holy spirit is poured amen i'll give you another witness you remember ezekiel 47 the river that issues from the east side of the temple and flows down is a long read but i won't read too much go to verse 11 and to 13, 11 to 13. So, that river flows, you know, you know the story. Wherever the river flows, it brings life. And you see fruitfulness. Go from 10, let me see. One to go. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it from Engedi, even unto Eneglam. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kind, as the fish of the great sea exceeding. But the married clay thereof and the marriages thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt. 12. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on the other side, shall grow what? All trees for meat whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. He shall bring forth new fruit according to his month, because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Let me see 13. Thus saith the Lord, this shall be bought. Okay, let's leave that. Amen. So wherever that river flows, 
there's life. And Jesus shows us what that river is. John 7, 38 to 39. Let's read to show you that it's the Spirit of God. Amen. A small Bible study before we begin. Want to go. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. What will happen? He that believeth on me, as the Spirit had said, out of his belly shall flow what? Rivers of living waters. 39 tells us what that river is. But this spake he of what? The Spirit. Say the Spirit. the Spirit. Which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet. But say, I have the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Therefore. I must be fruitful. Be fruitful. Amen. 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 One last witness the angel came to mary you know hail mary full of grace you know the lord is with you blessed are you among women and brought the news and said to her that she would conceive and bear a child she said how shall this be what did the angel say the holy ghost shall overshadow you say the holy spirit tonight the holy spirit is here Whatever was drought in your life becomes fruitful. Amen. Whatever was dry becomes fruitful. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's read our scripture. That was to set a context, you know, for us so that we praise God with understanding. Amen. We are going to pray a lot today. Read a lot of scriptures. Psalm 67, 5 to 6. Psalm 67, 5 to 6. Want to go. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. What will happen? Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. You see, when we praise God, there is what? Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54, verse 1. Today we are going to cover every area. See, every area of fruitfulness. Not just, you know, the fruit of the womb. You will see when we begin to pray. So tell everybody who is not joining, if they miss today, they miss. They shouldn't say, we'll watch recorded one. The anointing is not the same. Amen. Watch it, say, watch it fresh. I see the hot. Amen. Amen. Let's go. One to go. Sing, O barren, thou that is not bare. Break forth into singing and cry aloud that thou didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2. Verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy inhabitation. Spare not, lengthen thy court and strengthen thy Stakes. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. We are about to praise Him. Keep thanking Him. Tonight you are going to dance. Never song before on Hallelujah Challenge. Tonight is the time to sing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout Hallelujah, Amen. The most excellency. Shout hallelujah. Those of you here today, you must dance. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Say. Hallelujah. 
One more time. If you have your baby bump, dance throughout. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, amen. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
shout hallelujah.
this offering unto the Lord from your heart. Kara, Kara, turn around, turn around. Go, 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 go. 
Prophesying, it's spiritual, it's high praise. You declare no more delay, so shall it be. Give him praise. It's an overflow. show you a few things about fruitfulness before we pray that word fruitful in the old covenant in Genesis it appeared first in Genesis 1 22 Genesis 1 22 let's read it I'm going to show you from scripture and we'll pray and declare prophesying with understanding 
Let's read together. One to go. And God blessed them, saying, Stop. Let me show you something. The Bible says, And God blessed them, saying, Say, saying, Be fruitful. That word blessed, I believe, appeared in that scripture for the first time. Let me just make sure so I don't go. Yes. That word blessing, that bless there, bless there, appeared for the first time in what? Chapter 22. Theologians will tell you something about the law first mentioned. That many times when a, a word appears for the first time, take note because it, it, it might define the meaning of the word. Notice that the Bible says, God blessed them, saying, the manifestation of the blessing, the first ever manifestation of what it meant to be blessed was what? Fruitful. Somebody didn't get that. The very first manifestation of the blessing, say the very first, the very first expression, expression or, manifestation or manifestation of the blessing, of the blessing. was what? Fruitfulness. The Bible says, the mouth of two or three witnesses, the word shall be established. Go to verse 28. Go to verse 28. I'll show you again. Let's read one to go. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, what? Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Remember the law of the first mention. So it appears as though what defines being blessed is fruitfulness. Okay. In the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let me give you the third witness. Genesis 9 1. It's illegal for you to be unfruitful. Say it's illegal, it's illegal for me to be unfruitful. Let's read one to go. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful. Do you see again? Blessed, fruitful, said, blessed, said, fruitful. So the expression of the blessing is fruitfulness. And the way to convey it is saying it. Tonight I declare that you are blessed. Amen. Believe the Lord your God. Believe his prophets. The blessing is communicated by words. Oh. He has given me the tongue of the land. To know how to speak words to him that is weary. He wakens me morning by morning. He wakens me to hear as the land. I declare that you are blessed. Should I give you more witness? Oh, 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 that's okay. That's okay. Let, so let me tell you what that word blessed means. In the strong concordance. Are you being blessed already? It means to bear. Say to bear. Say to bear. Please, tonight, don't rush you. We are praying the word and intelligently. Have I laid a good foundation? You see what it means to be blessed. It begins with what? Fruitfulness. If you study it, and uh, uh, now is not the time. It graduates. Be fruitful. Then what? Multiply. Then what? Replenish. Then subdue. Then have dominion. But it begins with what? Fruitfulness. Say fruitfulness. Say, I am, I am fruitful. So it means to bear. Say to bear. to bear. It means to bring forth. It means to grow. Say grow. grow. Say grow. grow. It means to increase. Ah, Luke 252. Luke 252. Let's let's see. You know, Jesus was our example. Was was you know was God's example to us was the model for us. Want to go. And Jesus did what? Increased in wisdom and stature and in favor. That's what it means to be blessed. Increase. To grow. So you are a couple. Man and woman. No, no, no. You must increase. A baby must come. Then babies must come. It means productivity. Are you ready to pray? Now let me list the areas 
of fruitfulness. Are you ready to pray? I'm going to list the one for the womb last. You are supposed to be fruitful in your body. The fruit of your body. There's something called the fruit of your body. Deuteronomy 28.4 The fruit of your body. It means health. It means to grow well. So, they tell you, somebody shared a, a testimony and the hair of the daughter disappeared. It didn't grow. No, it's against what, what God planned. You must bear fruit in your body. Let's read. Want to go? Blessed shall be the fruit of what? Thy body. In other words, your organs must grow well. Your child must grow well. In stature, physically. Your hair must grow well. Your nails must grow well. Your eye must grow well. And the fruit, okay, well, let's leave the fruit of your ground. That's another one. Tonight you're going to prophesy. See, I'm a prophet. Say, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am fruitful in my body. Open your mouth and declare. Command your body. That is the divine plan. Every area of your life. When they tell you you have a liver issue, don't say, no, no, I'm fruitful in my body. No. Breast cancer is not a sign of fruitfulness. That's not the kind of fruit that should grow. Mangoes don't grow on apple trees, my God. So tumors have no place in my body. I am fruitful in my body. I am fruitful in my body. I am fruitful in my body. I grow well. The right vitamins. My tissues grow well. My pancreas grow well. There is no diabetes in my body. No cardiovascular issues. I'm fruitful in my body. I'm fruitful in my body. I'm fruitful in my body. I am fruitful in my body. Nathaniel Bassi, hear the word of the Lord. I am fruitful in my body. My hair grows well. My teeth grows well. My respiratory system is fruitful. My digestive system is fruitful. My colon is fruitful. My kidneys are fruitful. That speaks of divine health. Oh, I am fruitful in my body. I declare fruitfulness. I command fruitfulness. Remember, the Bible says, and God bless them, saying, the word, put the word of God in your mouth. Nathaniel Bassi, God has blessed your body, saying, be fruitful. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Go to Genesis 9, verse 1. You, you put your name there. Media, help me. Quick, 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 quick. And God blessed Nathaniel Bassi and his family and said, you see, every time you see and God bless, he said, Amen. Amen. The greater one lives inside of you. His word is inside of you. When you speak his word, is as good as he's the one speaking. And said, be fruitful. Look at yourself in a mirror. Find a place, maybe your phone, or somewhere, something, some, somewhere that reflects you. And put that scripture. Hope you're writing these scriptures. Look at yourself. Learn to look at yourself. Every day in the mirror. Let's do what, everywhere you see Noah and his sons, put Nathaniel and his family. Want to go? And God bless Nathaniel Bassi and his family and said unto him, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. So write that down. Do that again. You do that when you get home or when, or when you have time. Number two, the fruit of your mind. Say the fruit of your mind. There is such a thing as the fruit of your mind. Jeremiah 6.19 even though it says the fruit of your thoughts. But your thoughts are where? In your mind. 
Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon these people, even the fruit of their thoughts. So, your, your, your mind produces fruits. Say, my mind produces fruits. Let me give you an, I, I, some of the I, examples of the fruit of your mind. Ideas, concepts, innovations. The Bible says he gives knowledge for witty inventions. Amen. Some people imagine vain things with their mind. But you are going to prophesy to yourself. The Bible says in Job 32 verse 8, Amplified. For there is a spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty. There is a spirit of intelligence in man. And the breath of the Almighty gives him what? Understanding. Say in the name of Jesus. I am fruitful in my mind. Ideas. Concepts. Innovations. Inspirations. They flow from my mind. Open your mouth and prophesy. Loud, loud, loud. There is a spirit of intelligence in, at work in me. My mind is active. My imagination is active. I imagine great things. Ideas, visions, concepts. You guys raise that prayer fire here. I need some people on the microphone. I need my prayer warriors on the microphone. Quick, Vega, come. Esther, come here. Get on all the microphones. Let's raise the intensity. Isaiah, come here. Jumoke, come here. Chike, get on the mic. As many as can get on. I am fruitful in my mind. Pray your understanding too. I am fruitful in my mind. I am fruitful. I am fruitful in my mind. Blessed is the fruit of my mind. Blessed is the fruit of my mind. Blessed is the fruit of my mind. Say, I have the mind of Christ. That is the most fruitful mind in the world. Say, I have the mind of Christ. Say, we have the mind of Christ. Open your mouth and fire. We have the mind of Christ. I think like Christ. Therefore, I do the works of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. My mind is fruitful. My mind is active. In Jesus' mighty name. Place your hands on your head. Your head represents your mind. I declare according to the word of the Lord. Blessed is the fruit of your mind. Amen. Blessed is the fruit of your mind. Amen. Ideas that will bless the nation of the earth will flow from you. Amen. Do you know that Hallelujah Challenge is an idea? The songs we sing, sing are ideas. You know that. Your business is an idea. Blessed is the fruit of your mind. Amen from your dreams today Amen. your thoughts take a new look Amen. you will begin to think like Christ therefore you will do the works of Christ Amen. because as a man thinketh so what your life changes from today Amen. because your mind has been upgraded Amen. in Jesus mighty name we are praying now the next is the fruit of your land Deuteronomy 28, 33. Are you being blessed? Write these prayers down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed by Hallelujah Challenge? Let's read one to go. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which knoweth not, not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed. And So there's something called what? The fruit of your land. Even though that was not a, a good case. But 
God lets us know that there's what? The fruit of your land. That speaks of your estate, your business, your academics. Amen. Amen. It speaks of your portion in life. Hallelujah. Psalm 67 verse 5 says, Let the people praise thee, then the earth shall yield. Say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. My land, my my earth earth shall bear fruit. Shall bear fruit. fruit. Blessed Blessed is the fruit fruit of my land. land. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Blessed are our businesses. Kingdom businesses begin to rise. Bless. Bless is your career. Bless is your first degree. Blessed is your master's degree. Blessed is your doctorate degree. Blessed is your business. Blessed is the fruit of my land. Blessed. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I decree blessed is the fruit of your business. Blessed is your first degree. In the name of Jesus, your portion in life is blessed. Ah, your ministry is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Remember that fruitful means to grow and increase. So you will grow and increase. You are not permitted to have the same result as last year. The part of the just is what? A shining light. We are the we are the generation that keep breaking records. Say we break records. I'm a record breaker. I break limits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will not have a better yesterday. May you never have a better yesterday. Forward ever. Backward never. Next is the fruit of your hand. It is similar to the fruit of your ground. But the fruit of your hand can be your handiwork, your crafts, your talents. Amen. I, you see, I, I play the trumpet with my hand. Exactly. God blesses the work of our hands. That's why if you don't have anything doing and you are just praying, you are deceiving yourself. God does not bless your work. He bless the work of your hands. Tell somebody, find something doing. If all you are doing is praying, nothing will happen. God blesses the work of your hands. Psalm 128, amplified. Psalm 128, amplified. So we're going to pray it in the natural and the spiritual. Amen. In ministry, they normally use the, 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 the illustration of the hands. The, the Bible says that you do not put your hands on what? The plow. Luke 9.62. But, but, but let's read this first. For you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You will be happy and blessed and it will be well with you. That scripture is too, is, is too sweet. You better write it down. Say, I declare, I declare that I shall eat the fruit of the labor of my hands. I will be happy and blessed. And it will be well with me. Somebody says, say, say, see scripture. Oh, that is worth confessing every day. Let me add another scripture to that. An addendum to that so that you pray together. Psalm 144 verse 1. You, say your handiwork. Blessed is the fruit of my handiwork. My hands are blessed. Whatever I touch, whoever I touch, are blessed. The Bible talks about the laying on of hands. We another way we transfer the blessing 
is the laying on of hands apart from speaking. Say, my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Psalm 144 verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my strength which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Say, Father, Father from, today, from today, nothing fails, nothing fails in, my in my hand. Blessed, blessed shall, be shall be the fruit, the fruit of my hands. Of my hands. Whatever, Whatever, whoever, I touch, I touch with, these with these hands are blessed. Are blessed. My, hands my hands are blessed. Are blessed. Increase, in my hands. Increase, in my Increase in my hands. Increase in my hands. Have you seen that our brother Eben was speaking the word? Oil on my head. Increase. Eben, God bless you. Uh, should it, if you are around, we are going to find out if he's around for me. This, I, 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 I believe I'm led. I believe I'm led. If he's around, let him come and release that song. Oil on my head. The Bible says, like your head, what? Lack no ointment. Ecclesiastes, what? 9.8, I believe. 9.8. Good. Let your head, let your head lack no ointment. So, oil on my head, what? Increase on my hands. Speed on my feet. That scripture is, he maketh my feet like what? The hinds feet. That's speed. So, that song is scriptural. Powerful song. Say, my hands, my hands are blessed. There's increase in my hands. There's increase in my hands. Nothing fails in my hands. Open your mouth and declare that. Shaba katele maratala. Ekaya raba shana. Nothing fails. Everything I touch. Nothing fails. Bless is the fruit of my hands. Bless is the fruit of my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God teaches my hands to walk. God teaches my finger to pass. In the name of Jesus. Nothing fails. Bless is the fruit of my hands. In my hands. Nothing fails. In my hands. Anything I touch is blessed. Anything I touch is blessed. Bless is the work of my hands. 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 I am fruitful. Bless is the fruit of my hand. Bless is the fruit of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Bless is the fruit of my hand. Nothing fails in my hand. Nothing fails in my hand. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please bear with us if we extend a little bit. Next is very important. The fruit of your spirit. The fruit of the spirit. That is one of the most this is the most important one. The character of Christ. If we bear other ones and we don't bear these ones, on that last day we say, I know you not. Because he only re recognizes those who look like him. And the fruit of the spirit is the nature and character of Christ. Galatians 5.22 Say, by the spirit of God, I bear the fruit of the spirit. I am fruitful in spirit. Say, I produce love. I produce joy. I produce peace. I bear long suffering. I bear gentleness. I bear goodness. I bear fruit. I bear faith. Say, I'm fruitful in spirit. I bear meekness. I bear temperance. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare by the help of the Holy Spirit, by the presence of the work of the Holy Spirit. The sanctifying work of the spirit within me i bear the fruit of the spirit i bear the fruit of the spirit i am fruitful in 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 spirit. I bear the fruit of 
Jesus mighty name we are praying. Father, we ask that by the grace of God, the Bible says that the grace that brought salvation does what? Teaches us. Oh, may the presence of the Holy Spirit in us cause us to bear the fruit of Christ. May it cause us to be fruitful in spirit. May the sanctifying work of the Spirit within us cause us to blossom and be fruitful in spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, let's share the last one. The fruit of the womb. The fruit of the womb. That's the most popular one. The fruit of the womb. Deuteronomy 713. Deuteronomy 713. Psalm 127 verse 3 and 1 Samuel 1 12 and 20. He says, and he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. Psalm 127 verse 3. Psalm 127 verse 3. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. God is rewarding someone tonight. 1 Samuel 1, 12 and 20. 1 Samuel 1, 12 and 20. Remember this story? And it came to pass, as she continued praying like we are praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. You know the story because of time. Let's jump to verse 20. Wherefore it came to pass, I declare over someone it shall come to pass. Amen. When the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord, your Samuel has come, Amen. your Esther has come. Amen. I stand by the grace of God. Lift up your hands towards the screen and everybody. I I come. As a servant of the Most High God, as a minister of the New Covenant, and I stand and I prophesy tonight or this morning that your time to conceive has come. Amen. I pray from Genesis 21 that God visits you tonight Amen. like He visited Sarah. Amen. Place that hand on your womb. Say, I declare, I declare. Blessed, blessed is the fruit of my womb. That reward has come. Open your mouth and pray. And pray for other people. If you are single, pray for yourself in advance. Bless is the fruit of my womb. Stop praying now. Don't wait till you get married. Say this womb is for babies. This womb is not for fibro. In Jesus' mighty name, I see the men are not praying. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy 7 14. You know, I'm a scripture man. One to go. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. Even your goats is supposed to bear fruit. So men can be barren. Men place your hands on your womb because the seed comes from you you've heard of cases of low sperm count no sperm count that's barrenness see i declare, I declare bless, bless is the fruit, is the fruit of, my womb, of my womb of my bowels, of my bowels. open your mouth and pray Bless is the Bless is the fruit of my womb. Sister, say this womb will carry babies, not fibroids. My womb carries babies, not fibroids. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, Genesis 17, verse 6. Genesis 17, verse 6. Let's crown it. There are levels of fruitfulness. There are levels. Say there are levels. Yeah, yeah. Now, all of the various aspects of fruitfulness, we will pray this as an icing over them. See what God said to Abraham. By the way, a sister on Instagram confirmed. When did I mention something about I was praying ahead the Abrahamic covenant? Did anybody hear that? Okay. But I heard that and she 
she confirmed something while we're worshiping on day seven. So we're going to pray through the, the Abrahamic covenants before we finish. See what God was telling Abraham. Want to go? I will make thee what? Exceeding fruitful. And I will make nations of thee and kings shall open your mouth and prophesy exceeding fruitfulness in every area. Exceeding fruitfulness. Exceeding fruitfulness. Nathaniel Bassi, you are exceedingly fruitful. Fruitful in my mind, fruitful in my spirit, fruitful in my womb, fruitful in my land, fruitful in my body. Nathaniel Bassi, you are exceedingly fruitful. Fruitful in ministry. Fruitful in your music career. Fruitful in pastoring. Fruitful as a husband. Fruitful as a father. I am exceedingly fruitful. And so shall it be. So design a flyer. Say to yourself, Nathaniel Bassi. You are exceedingly fruitful in all areas. Say, I, I Nathaniel Bassi, am exceedingly fruitful in all areas. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift your hands and give him thanks. I had a vision yesterday at night as waking up. I saw this huge flood and somebody was drowning. But I heard a voice crying for help. The flood was so much I could not go because I, I didn't want to be drowned because it was a huge flood. But then as I was praying, oh Lord, how can I save this person? I saw a hand, a hand from nowhere. Pick that person. That's why I posted that flyer. You are, child of God, you will not drown. Can, can I prophesy to someone? The hand of the Lord picks you from drowning. You are delivered from that flood of depression. That, that flood of death that, that has threatened to kill you. That flood of court case. That flood of terminal disease. The, by the hand of God. Ah, by the outstretched arm of God, you are delivered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now, lift up your hands. This is the way we, we seal our fruitfulness and multiplication. Jeremiah 30, 19. Jeremiah 30, 19 with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Jeremiah 30, 19. And out of them shall do what? Proceed what? Thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will do what? Multiply them. And they shall not be few. And I will also glorify them. And they shall not be sm Remember when Jesus had small bread. He gave thanks and it was multiplied. Lift up your hands and thank him. Seal these prayers with thanksgiving. Thank him. 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 We thank you, Jesus. Say, I thank you for fruitfulness in all areas. Thank you because I am exceedingly fruitful in all areas. I am exceedingly fruitful in all areas. In Jesus' mighty name. Now I'm going to take the altar call, but I'll call a minister here who will come and pray and close us out. He'll pray over the souls and then he would share the grace and bless us. Okay, let's put the baby bump um, scroll. Let's scroll them. You know, the pictures, the baby bump. But while we do that, if you are not born again, this is your moment. Put on the light for me a bit. Put on the light. You need to be fruitful in your soul. The fruit you need to bear is the fruit of righteousness. The fruit called salvation. If you are not born again, all of the prayers we pray tonight is a waste. It's a waste. It's a waste. But you have an opportunity tonight. If you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that Christ raised him from the dead, you will be saved and you will start bearing that fruit of righteousness. There's a fruit of righteousness. 
because the seed will be planted in you tonight. Say with me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I come to you today. I, to you today. I, declare, I declare that you came, you died, and rose again. Thank you for dying for me. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I forsake my sins. I declare that my past is over. I am brand new in Christ Jesus. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Pastor, can I come and pray for the people? Come and see you. Come and pray for them. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for those who have accepted to have you as their personal Lord and Savior. Father, all glory and honor belong to you, God. You are a good God. You have been faithful in their lives, O oh God. You have kept them to this day. And we say thank you. Thank you for your hand over them. Thank you for rescuing them, O oh God. Thank you for showing them that every lawful captive is set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you for rescuing them from strongholds, O oh God. From hurt and from pain. Thank you. After every soul, we declare you free. Amen. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. To every soul, we say that the love of God reigns in your heart. Amen. The hand of God is over you. Amen. You are destined to be fruitful. Amen. You are destined to be blessed. Amen. You are destined to have a long life. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. You shall live long in the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of the Lord is over you. Amen. Over your family Amen. and all that is with you. You are blessed. We, co we consider you blessed. Amen. We prophesy that you are blessed. Amen. Every dry bone in your life it becomes fruitful. Amen. We prophesy that every dry bone in your life becomes fruitful. Amen. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of living. Amen. You will see it and you prophesy to it and God will be glorified. Amen. All this we ask in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. amen. You come back and close for us. Now, for the new converts, please fill the form www.hallelujahchallengelive.com slash new converts. Scan the barcode. We would like to connect with you and help you with your decision. Amen. Amen. Now, when you talk about fruitfulness, you're talking about what? Planting a seed. What a good day to give an offering to partner. Nothing grows without seed. He gives what? Seed to the sower. A pregnant woman is pregnant because what? Of a seed. So, as the Lord leads you, please go to www.hallelujahchallengelive.com slash partnership. You know, click the link, scan the code, and give. This is a, a, a fertile soil. Your seed grows on this altar. You know, support what we are doing, and God will bless you. Amen. Just to say thank you to our partners. Simon Cooper Partners, uh, Legal Partners, Show Gear Technical Partners, iFix Internet Partners, Carol Films, Evently, our designers, Premium Trust Bank, Zenith Bank. Premium Trust is my favorite, all right? So forgive me, I'm biased. You should open an account with them. Instagram, Facebook, Mixellar, and YouTube. Thank you all for blessing us with your platforms. Amen. Amen. Saturday night, Apostle Joshua Selman will be here. Woo! My friend and my brother. I, I just love him. I love Apostle. You know that. I know they hide them. I, then my friend also, okay, Pastor Jerry, we are working out his time. You know I love Pastor Jerry. You know, I, I, I call him Pastor Jerry Wam. <laughs> so, we're, we're hoping that he can make it on Friday. So, it's going to be back to back. Friday, Saturday, heavy duty. Amen. Have you been blessed today? Do you feel blessed? Say, I am exceedingly fruitful. Wave it. The Lord has done it finally. Finally. Wave it. The Lord has done it the Lord has done it finally, finally. He has made you fruitful. Finally, finally. They tend, they tend today will be a heavy duty day. 
We have evangelist Chuks Chudube, that man that dances a lot. This kind God, the writer of this kind God, will be here with his team. And the 10 is a prophetic number. Let's close. Numbers 10, 10. You read, I mean, Numbers 10. Um, the Lord bless and keep you. thank the Lord. Just thank him. God deserves all the thanks. Say, Father, we thank you. Thank you. It can only be you. It can only be you. It can only be you. It's only in heaven that we know what has happened today. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have been too good, too kind, too faithful, too loving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's raise up our hands. Lord bless and keep thee. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon thee Amen. and be gracious unto thee. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee Amen. and give thee peace. Amen. And they shall put up my name upon the children of Israel Amen. and I will bless them. Amen. I will bless them. Amen. I will bless them. Amen. Put your name there. I will bless. I will bless. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. See you day 10. Hallelujah. Team, let's pray. Let's give.